So the heart is divided into four chambers, and the top two chambers are the atria. There's a wall that divides the top two chambers. Um, there's a condition called PFO where you can have a flap opening in that atrial septum or top wall between the left and the right sides. Um, this often is a normal variant. About a quarter of the population has a PFO, just this potential flap opening. Most of the time it's not a problem, but in certain situations we know that some people may be at risk for strokes or other potential degrees processes. Um, so PFO closure is a way that we can, in the cardiac catheterization lab, uh, place tubes or catheters through the blood vessels, advance them into the heart, and then deploy a special device uh, that will close the PFO or that flap opening. It's a pretty amazing process, actually. ASD closure is kind of a sister procedure to PFO closure. Uh, an atrial septal defect is a true hole within the wall of the top chambers of the heart. Um, this is pretty uncommon, but can be a serious problem especially for adults who are undiagnosed in childhood. Uh, it can lead to problems with shortness of breath, problems with abnormal heart rhythms into later in life. And so really identifying an individual with an ASD and treating this um, is very, very important. Like PFO closure, we can in the cardiac cath lab often uh, place a tube through the vessels in the, in the leg up to the heart and then deploy a special device to help close that hole.